Hello and welcome to an update video in the Emilia Ming case, as it's known in Denmark. This is the case about the young woman who was abducted when she had been out having a party with her friends. She was found a half a year later dead, and uh, the case went cold for many years. But in connection with the abduction of a 13-year-old girl, who had been out finishing her paper route. The police searched this man's house and found some evidence. I will return to that. But the case about the 13-year-old girl happens in this small town called Kirkerup. It's in the middle of Sjælland, and for those of you who are not familiar with Denmark, you have Copenhagen up here, and then you have the town where the 13-year-old girl was abducted down here, and Emilia Ming, she was abducted over here in Corsair. If you go closer to Corsair, you have the train station up here. This is the place where Emilia Ming was last seen, and in connection with the last sighting of her, there was a sighting of a white Hyundai i10, this car had been put in connection to the suspect. It was sold, and I think the police found it in Slovenia, and it's back in Denmark. We didn't hear anything in court today if there's any evidence in that car, but we'll return to what evidence the police presented today. In Denmark, you have to present evidence to a judge to keep a person in pretrial detainment and uh, you can then be uh, detained for up to four weeks and then the police will have to come back and say well we are still looking at this and we have this evidence and we think if he is let loose he can try to do something to hinder the investigation but the uh, judge today said with the new evidence we can uh, the police can keep him in prison for another four weeks at least. This uh, train station is where Emilia Meng was abducted. She was later found in this wooded area near a town called Borup. That's closer to Copenhagen and it's also closer to the area where the 13-year-old girl was uh, abducted. But He's also charged with assault of a 15-year-old girl in a town called Sorø. That's almost halfway between the place where Emilia Ming disappeared and where she was found. So today, what new evidence was brought forward in court? Well, first of all, you have the 13-year-old abduction case. He has partially pleaded guilty to that case. We don't know which part he has pleaded guilty to, but he has partially pleaded guilty in that case. In the Emilia Ming case, he hasn't pleaded guilty to, to anything, but the police presented evidence today that when they raided the man's house in connection with the 13-year-old girl's abduction, they found incriminating evidence on his computer, they found vide uh, videos, and they found DNA that points in the, the direction of Emilia Ming. And in the case with the 15-year-old girl in Sorø, he hit her multiple times in the stomach, so they have some possible DNA matches on her jacket too. So the judge chose to prolong his pretrial detainment. We don't know when this case will go before the courts, but... This is uh, very concrete evidence, and it's uh, we uh, we don't normally see the police uh, getting uh, so so much out uh, in the press before the case. But uh, it's very concrete evidence that they have some videos. We don't know what's in the videos. They have DNA matches, both on the Emilia Ming case and possibly in the Sower case. So. Uh, they have a strong case, it seems, against this 32-year-old, but we'll have to follow along and see what happens when it goes to trial. I will be covering it like I do with other cases, and I hope you'll watch along. Thank you so much for watching this video.